Hey guys, I'm Tango Tango. I'm Shango Mango. And we're Team Tang. So, here we're starting a four part series for Onslaught mode, giving our tips on hardcore mode. So, uh, we'll be looking at each of the different levels. Uh, the one we're looking at right now is uh, Valparaiso. And uh, in this particular map, um, we're going to be showing you how to get through it on hardcore. So for this one, we recommend at least two people, all engineers, because all you'll need is the APC for this one. Um, yeah, you'll see in this video that we pretty much just sit in the APC all the way through, and um, having an engineers is key, especially with rocket launchers, because you'll see that later. All you need to do is maintain that APC, and uh, some of the engineers will probably need uh, tracer darts and rocket launchers uh, to handle the situation later on in the game. But it's, this one's generally easy and hardcore. Uh, the situation that we were talking about earlier is, is um, uh, you see an attack boat uh, halfway through the stage. But basically the, this map consists of going from point to point uh, in the different capture zones and literally just sitting there in the APC, clearing them out and having two of your guys, or if it gets a bit crazy, three of your guys to all repair uh, which, once you start taking the hits. As long as you don't like run into the enemy, it, you should generally just stay alive. Just sit at the cap points, capping, and shoot at spawn points. Like here, this spawn points is where the Panda Tank's facing right now. And after you cap the flag, uh, an APC will come out, like right now. And for the vehicle spec, for the main gunner should be the alternative fire, the tow missile. That should generally take out the APC in one hit anyway. Yeah, so also each each person should have a vehicle spec which uh, complements this. Uh, so everyone should not choose the same vehicle spec. Obviously, uh, someone who the, the secondary gunner should have uh, armor because he will always be in the APC. Hopefully, if he doesn't need to repair it, which would help in the defense of it, basically. And you can do this with two people anyway. Be it's easy, we've done it plenty of times before, in about 10-15 minutes. It's basically going from point to point, taking out the enemy's APC. You're generally invincible. Yeah, as long as you know how to aim the gun <laughs> in the middle of the screen, uh, in hardcore mode, you can, you can do this pretty easily. Um, the APC offers lo loads of good protection, you got really good uh, field of fire. And uh, yeah, it's it's one of the easiest maps. So this is the bit where the patrol boat comes in. Uh, what we like to do is keep the APC back because obviously this is the most crucial thing for taking you through the next two parts so the two main dedicated repairers will co come out with tracer darts, tracer dart the patrol boat and start firing at it. If you're not too sure the patrol boat is in the water on the left side of where you're looking right now. Uh, it's in a dock area and remember the tracer darts move pretty quickly so you don't need to lead as much and they don't drop at all so as long as one person gets a, a tracer dart on them and then the, the two uh, of engineers to start firing off rockets at them um, and we also recommend maybe choosing an RPG because it takes, does more damage than a Carl G but it's obviously down to personal preference yeah for this one tracer dart him stay behind the cover and get a lock on quickly look up and shoot up so you kind of get an angle and you're still in cover. Also remember guys if you aim too high and the tracer dart homing square is out of your sight the lock on removes so uh, you need to keep in sight. Uh, I made a mistake of aiming behind a building and the rocket turned too steeply and hit the building's roof so keep an eye out just stay near the edge of the edge of the hillside and aim over a couple of small boxes or something so your rockets don't hit anything in the way. So when you start capping a point you'll probably find that you're not actually capping a point at all so what you need to do is clear out every enemy around a cap point. Even one infantry that's hiding will stop you from capping it. Also a recommendation for anyone who's uh, an engineer looking to repair the APC. In hardcore mode obviously you can't see the health a bar of the uh, vehicle but if you press up on the d-pad on both the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 you can see the green bar underneath the driver's name of the vehicle which tells you the health of the of the vehicle 
So use that to your advantage and it helps you by looking, giving you a good uh, field of view as well. So... Here you can see as well, we're just carrying on. Uh, it literally is just moving from point to point. It's not exactly the most uh, exciting uh, onslaught there is really. Yeah, this is the, the easiest one. This is hardcore mode. Uh, as long as you stay the APC, keep it up. You just generally just run through it. Yeah, it's just literally that over and over again. The only real uh, problem area in this particular one is the um, uh, patrol boat section and if you know how to play it safe and keep your distance in the APC it's no problem at all. So here we captured it and now we're just moving straight onto uh, C with pretty much no problem. I'm just firing bullets randomly. <laughs> so it's pretty much the same so I think we'll call it end of the video here because nothing much changes. You'll see two or one Vonnik that come along in this next section and in the end it's another APC but they're so easy to handle. Yeah, if uh, anything gets a bit, uh, if you get a bit overwhelmed by vehicles, remember you've got three other engineers in there, if necessary, with rocket launchers and tracer darts, and it'll make short work of the uh, APCs and Vodniks. Um, so, yeah, we uh, we might leave the video to run until the end, or we might just cut off here. <laughs> we yeah. don't know. <laughs> right, thank you for uh, watching. Please like, comment, subscribe.